get the signal from the official. 20 minutes goes up on the clock, and we are underway. Face-off won by Sioux Falls. Though it's taken by Trethaway, played to the far side for Phillips. All the way down is Belisle. The defenseman wins the race for icing in just 10 seconds in. We get our first Wears. stoppage made by Nike, of course, the jersey sponsor of the NTDP. Face-off won by McKinney. Cleared out of the zone by Phillips. Belisle the first one on it, just in front of his bench. Trethaway in the area, and it comes back with Sioux Falls. Belisle to the middle of the ice. Big check by Maceo Phillips stepping up and laying a shoulder into John McNeilis, who has it side of the net, trying to tuck it home, but it's held on to by Patrick Quinlan for the stop. In. He stands in across from Conrad Fondrick. 2.40 gone in the first, 0-0 NTDP and Stampede. Here come the herd down the ice, carried up by the defenseman Shanali. backhands one high and wide. It's kept in by Bryce Ingles. Behind the net it goes with Maceo Phillips. Side of the cage, it's Baker, but taken away by Trethaway. Now Mooney up ahead, trying to find the stick of his line mate, Cole McKinney. But it comes back to the NTDP zone before it's sent down for Ingles to receive. Mooney hard on the four check. Back in the neutral zone it goes. It's Carter Amico across the way. Mooney thought about giving chase on the four check instead. Goes off for a change, taking his place. Jacob Kwasnika, the Wyzata native. Curling around his own zone, Miroslav Satan. It goes across the way. Here's Ingles up to Satan. Taken back, though, by Karina in Fargo, taking on the Fargo Force. The Stampede, they don't play next Friday, but I'm sure they'll make their home opener soon. They play against Sioux City on Saturday. The NTDP finds the back of the net. One nothing, it comes, Cole McKinney. Back door in the program. They lead by one. And now here comes Sioux Falls, two on one for them. Wittenbach dropped off for Reed, his shot blocked by Amico. Sioux Falls still in the offensive zone, it's Reed dropped off for Wittenbach. Near side, Belisle holds, fires, can't get it through the traffic. Instead, Amico sends it down the ice. Not enough juice for the icing. So uh, McKinney, the goal scorer on the forecheck, now joined by Mooney, and Fodrick jumps over the wall as well. Here comes Satan to the offensive zone. Miroslav Satan behind the net, forced to the near side. LJ Mooney picks it up across the way, fires it where he finds the stick of Donnie Bronco. Back to McKinney on the near side, but announcing Ponk is pushed back by Ernest to his defenseman. Here's Belisle. Up ahead for Kosick, couldn't get a piece of it. No icing though, won the race. So now Ernest, far side, looking for Satan. Gives it away to Mooney. Mooney clears it down the ice, but it's regained by Sioux Falls. Mooney with back a, on the ice, joined by LJ Mooney. It's Keen and Shock on the back end. Face off one by the Stampede, but taken by Shock to the near side. Regained by Ernest, knocked down by Keen. Here's Shock. Up the middle of the ice, intended for Mooney, taken by Belisle. Now Ernest, back to the offensive zone, looking for Satan, taken away by McKinney. Cole McKinney chips off the far side wall, giving chase is Fondrick onto Belisle, regained by McKinney. Here's Fondrick, far side corner, taken away by Satan. Met by LJ Mooney, he curls back around. Belisle, behind the net, looking at his options, doesn't know what he wants to choose, lets the play develop, now gives it off to his partner. Varconi across from McKinney, make it Mooney for the draw, one back by Varconi, across the way, Bronco has to go back to the neutral zone for it. Here's LJ Mooney, dropped off for Bronco. Up the far side of his own zone, cuts to the middle of the ice, hinges backwards for LJ Mooney. Mooney across the way, Moore, now Fondrick. Blows a tire, far side corner, still has possession on his backside. It goes up to the blue line, and now here's McKinney. Up to Brocco, middle of the line. Near side, Fondrick at the wall, up top, Brocco, cross the way, faking the one-timer, Mooney. Now Fondrick's one-timer goes wide, Mooney gets it back. 
Far side circle, back to Fondrick, taken away. Now a two on one the other way. Rybakov leads it. Rybakov near side, poked off his stick by Bronco. And we're about halfway through this power play for the NTDP. A minute gone, a minute left as Bronco picks up in his own end. 1-10 to go in the period. Jeremy Bronco, sorry, Donnie Bronco, plays the far side. Found the stick of a teammate in Will Horkoff, and it comes back their direction. With speed is Austin Baker, fires, he scores! The former NTDP player strikes against it. Ball stampede tied up at one apiece. It'll be Cole McKinney who wins it backwards away from James for the herd. As the 18s take the opening possession of the second period. NTDP going right to left across your screens and radios wearing their white uniforms, but here come the herd. Brock James up the near side. McNeil has tapped it forward, but is taken away by Charlie Trethaway. Now Phillips near side off the skate of McKinney and deep into the Sioux Falls zone. Here's McNeilis up the near side wall. Barnett fires in off the stick of McKinney and wide. So it's regained by Joe Belisle on the far side. Left off, here's Ingles. In the neutral zone it goes. It's regained. Line change for the NTDP. Program looks to get back in time while it's sent in by Ernest. Trethaway for Mooney. Off the far side wall. Picked up by Satan. Back to his defenseman, Ingles. And now here they come again. Near side, Ernest, handcuffed by the pass. Taken back by the NTDP, Conrad Fondrick had McKinney with him, but they're offside with 15 side. Phillips on the back end alongside Amico. It's one back by McKinney, but he jumped a bit early. So it'll be LJ Mooney who takes the draw. Far side. Across from Varnoki. This one won by Sioux Falls. It comes in the near side for Mooney. Pushed down behind the net. Here's Belisle. Stays on the near side. Finds Wittenbach. Giving away McKinney. An open ice. Fires. He scores. Cole McKinney. His second of the game. And the NTDP leads by one. McKinney, two goals today, leans in for the faceoff. One backwards, Phillips to Trethaway. Pass was on his backhand, couldn't pull the trigger on the one-timer. Stays behind the net with Ingles. Near side, Wittenbach looks to clear the zone and does. Maceo Phillips can't catch it, instead fired on net, they score! Behind the defense, it was Igor Barabano. That's Bihar, out of Chaska, Minnesota, but He'll leave the state for his college hockey, playing the NCHC at the University of Denver. Shock looks to keep in and does. Away from Belial, it goes back for Rymakov to receive. Javon Moore centers, and here comes Welch. Leads the rush, two on one, shading over. Well, as the defenseman, Shock gets a little help, but here's Spihar, the latest goal scorer. Far side corner, Spihar up to the blue line, Rymakov now Belial. Back to Rybakov, holds and fires, blocked down. Rebound goes to the far side corner. Poked down the wall for Welch. Given away and regained by McKinney. Here comes Fondrick looking for shock, but instead it goes the way of the Stampede. Down low, Mooney pushed off the side of the net. LJ Mooney behind the cage, met by Javon Morley. Regained by the NTDP. Here comes shock out of his own zone. To Keen, far side, dropped off for Shock. Drew Shock, nice move, cuts to the middle, fires as Shock gets blocked. And now it's Keen on the near side wall. While he's falling, Horkoff a shot, turned aside, found by McKinney on the far side corner. Spihar centers, and now it's carried out of the zone by Reed. Hayden Reed, working one on three, takes a check from McKinney. Huff keeps it in, centered. But bouncing, it's picked back up by LJ Mooney. Horkoff loses his stick while his team's in the offensive zone, but offside. Says we get the okay to continue. McKinney leans in for the draw, though it's one back by Varconi. And now Shally for Wittenbach. 
poked off his stick. The 18s have to regroup. Up ahead to the neutral zone for Mooney, taken back by Wittenbach. And Quinlan plays to the far side. Wittenbach again, taken by LJ Mooney. Goes off of McKinney and into the Sioux Falls bench. Is Noah Ernest make it rather Igor Barbanov, but the faceoff won by the NTDP sent down the ice. No icing, first one on it. Hawk. It's 4 2 at the start of the third period. Stampede take possession off the draw in their blue jerseys. They'll go right to left across your screens for this third and final period of regulation. The 18s looking to tie things up before the end. Lindbergh fires into the glove of the netminder and held on. And it's going to get a good opportunity for the 18. Moore, the first line center. As McKinney leans in for the draw, he'll be a Wolverine alongside Will Harkoff, Drew Schock, and Asher Barnett. Here's Fondrick, carries back to his own zone. Behind his net now. Fires up to LJ Mooney. Here he comes, Mooney with tons of speed to the offensive zone. Far side for Fondrick, though is taken away. Cleared up towards the blue line, and Brocko has to go back on it. I Actually, I like these, these white jerseys Van TDP a lot. I like the numbers on the shoulders. They got a cool font for the numbers as well. They're really growing on me. But here they come on the power play still. Behind the net it goes. Brocko in the area. McNeilis takes a stick up high. The Stampede wanted a call. They're not getting one. Instead, play continues on the near side. Here comes McNeilis. Over the red line. Now the blue fires on net. Joey Slavic taking over the goaltending duties this third period for the NTDP. But here they come to the offensive zone. Blowing a tire. McKinney. Here's Fondrick. Goes up top for Shock. Across the way for Mooney. LJ Mooney holds far side, goes down low. McKinney back to Mooney. Mooney to Shock. Near side, it comes Fondrick back to Mooney. Bounces over his stick, he gets it back. Far side, top of the circle, towards the net, he walks. Goes down low for McKinney. Backdoor pass, goes off the net minor. Up top to the blue line, it comes for Shock with 10 seconds to go on the power play. Shock across to Mooney. Top of the far side circle. Cuts towards the near side. Mooney on his forehand, still with it. On the wall, down to the corner. LJ Mooney below the goal line, pops out in front, Moore back door, goes to Mooney out of the box as Ingles were at even strength. Down low for Moore behind the net, popped out for McKinney and won't go. Mooney gets off for a change, allowing the puck to go to the Sioux Falls and enter the offensive zone. Fired on to Slavic, he makes his first save of the contest after entering in relief during the intermission. Here comes the program to the near side, McKinney to the offensive zone, onside, says the linesman, Taylor. Shally plays to the far side for Welch. The Stampede look to clear the zone, Spihar unable to, Horkoff you know, in the way. You know, win another NCHC championship, but that's not the goal. That's just part of the goal. The goal is to get to the next level and win a national championship. Here's Rybakov, near side for Javon Moore. Moore across the way, a pass intended for McNeilis. Now taken away by McKinney. Pushed ahead for Gallant, two on one. Shading over Rybakov onto McKinney, far side. Battle won by McKinney, but it's regained by Austin Baker. Here he comes. Austin Baker scored the first goal of the game for the Hearn back in the first period. Here's McNeilis. He has a goal as well, looking for Rybakov. It's taken away and sent down the ice. Doing the honors was Asher. So if there's any team that can score goals in very, very quick time, say it's, th it's the NTDP. No high stick, says the official. Puck comes in the neutral zone. It's Amico who sends back in. Near side corner, McKinney collides with a stampede. Fired on to right, he holds on. Now McKinney's knocked down and the cross checks start flying. NHL, the top it. junior hockey league in the world. And they'll make you pay for it. So the NTDP back on the power play. Face off won by the program. Shock to the far side for Mooney. 
LJ Mooney to the middle of the ice. Far side for Shock. Fired back door. Moore turned aside. Rebound from Mooney. Blocked in traffic. He gets it back and leaves for McKinney. Now here's Fondrick. Far side for Shock. They crisscross. Shock, middle of the blue line now. Crossed away for Fondrick. Holds. Back up top to Shock. Drew Shock, near side for Mooney. Just out of his reach. Huff picks it up and sends it all the way down the ice. New unit on for the Stampede. But here comes LJ Mooney at the center ice logo. Played his youth hockey here. Is taken away by McNeilis to the offensive zone. McNeilis couldn't fire a shot. Now he does. It's blocked. Gets it back. Belisle will take it out of the zone. D to D with Ingles. They've got McNeilis alongside Welch up front. McNeilis behind the NTDP goal. Pinned against the boards by Shock. A minute gone, a minute remaining on the program power play. Here's Fondrick. Drops off and leaves it for Drew Shock. Take the ice tomorrow for the final day of the week-long event. Here's Charlie Trethaway. Up ahead for McKinney. Cole McKinney, both the NTDP goals coming off of his stick. Mooney taken down, arm the official up, and back to the power play of the NTDP. You'll hear the voice of Tim Harwood, one of the legends here in the USHL on the media side, as they take on the Blackhawks. Here's LJ Mooney to the near side with speed, looking for some downhill shooting. And he throws it down low for Moore. It comes up top with Frondrick. Off the glass, down to the corner. Knocked down by Miller. Regained by Moore, looking to clear the zone. Unable to is James. But here's Frondrick on the near side. Cycles and leaves it for Brocco. Fired into the glove of Wright, who holds on. A buck features McKinney across from James. One back by James. But it stays in the zone with the NTDP and McKinney. Down the wall, near side, Fondrick. At the half wall, works back up towards the blue line, finds McKinney across the way. Fired on net by Brocco. It goes wide. Now Fondrick has to keep it in. Unable to. A good play by McNeilis. Sends it the length of the ice. Well, next week, the NTDP has a whole bunch of games. Four. Taking on the Sioux City Musketeers next Saturday. And then the Lincoln Stars at home the Saturday after that. Face-off, one back by Sioux Falls. Sent down the ice. Still shorthanded for 32 more seconds. Here's Shock. The middle of the ice for Horkoff. Kicked out for Trethaway. Charlie Trethaway across the way finds Shock. Going to the bench is the net miner. Six on four. Trethaway, middle of the blue line. Shock, Shock across the way. Fired on, but blocker to side. Shock came off the stick of Jack Murtag. Regained by the herd, sent down the ice into the empty net. And it's six to two. It's Welch finding the back of the cage from his own half of the ice. Earned a, a unbelievable internship through USA Hockey and through that, now a full-time role with the NTDP in USA Hockey. Awesome, but they let, they let Jess Henningsen walk and join the Lumberjacks front office as a business development executive and all we can say is thanks, right? Like every time you, your team trades away a player or sends a player down and they get picked up by another team in the USHL, all you can say is thanks. That's a, one crazy waiver wire pickup by the Lumberjacks. Jess is awesome. Well, here's Spihar, a former Lumberjack, but it's taken back by Moore. Will Moore, near side wall, up top, fired on by Trethaway and wide. Once more, Hawk Huff. Up ahead to Kozik, working one-on-one -on, -one on Trethaway. Knocked down to the ice.